Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. Today's date is Tuesday, February the 2nd, 2015. Okay, a couple of hot topics here. Uh, Palco Painting Auction. Um, I got that coming up here. Um, we're, um, the trust fund may not be set up, but we're going to have uh, um, Cody Palco's PayPal account. That's Jeff's son. Okay, Jeff's passed away. Um, he has a 16-year-old son or 15-year-old son, I believe, and uh, we're, we're trying to help him out here. And we're going to have this Palco painting auction. Uh, you guys are going to basically um, leave a bunch of comments in Kevin D. Blanche's YouTube videos, forcing him to pass over the painting so we can auction it off. And uh, it'll go off the highest bidder. Or if Kevin D. Blanche is actually telling the truth and that he does have two serious offers for big money on the painting. If you watch my past videos, it's one thing I reported. The Palco painting was up for grabs here. Apparently two big offers. So if that's true, we're going to get Kevin D. Blanche to sell the painting and transfer the money over to Cody Palco. And I have another email. I won't share it in this video, but coming up soon here as I, I, I'll make another video on this Palco painting specifically. And I'll share some information here from Jeff's mother who sent me a reply, another email, a couple of them and uh, you'll get to hear for yourself here how she's went after these guys Thomas Ackerman Kevin D Blanche in an email asking them that they need to return the funds they won't they won't even return the emails they won't even respond to her at that can you imagine so yeah she knows her son was uh ripped off, scammed, and uh, although she wouldn't say he'd committed suicide, I said it was very clear in my video that I felt that he had. He was depressed. He knew he was, he'd been ripped off. His best friends had all turned on him. Uh, he had been banned. He could no longer leave any comments anywhere. Couldn't join the Fukushima funds, but here they are on the Pacific Ocean with his boat taking pictures. Well, great, because I got some great video footage here, and you'll want to see my pictures, and I'll prove to you again that there's lots of life here on the, on the West Coast, lots of sea life. Okay, so sorry I'm digressing again, but this is very upsetting how these people are going around scamming. So I'm the only one on YouTube. I'm not sure if, you, if you've been listening to me, but I'm the only one here who makes videos that talks about the terms bioaccumulation, and we need to buy a gamma spectrometer. This is why I've been trying to raise these funds. Thank you very much for everyone that's donated. You folks really grasp it. You understand the significance about what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, there's a lot that don't, so let me just go off track here for just two seconds and just pound this back into to, to some view that don't seem to get it. Okay, so basically here, Fukushima Day 1340, that was in August here. I'd reported two months ago how, uh, sorry, that was in September, I believe. It says two months ago. It was longer than that that I made that video. But basically, uh, regardless, what's important is in that video, I, I shared with you the results from water samples that were taken off the west coast of British Columbia and uh, Seattle, Oregon, and Northern California in the... Um, summer of 2014, in August 2014, 50 samples were taken. The first 20 samples were analyzed, 10 of them turned out to be positive for Fuku Fukushima radiation. I went on to say that prepare yourself because moving forward the news will always say that the levels of radiation in the Pacific Ocean are low and are not harmful, go back to sleep. They'll always say that. I'm the only one here that makes these types of videos that talks about the terms bioaccumulation. Please remember that. This is what separates me from the rest of these people here, okay? These fraud and disinformation YouTubers, hang tight here, because this, uh, this video also pertains to what I'm doing here, because a few people have asked me, you need to change your format. Go back to the way you were before. Don't call out these people. We don't want to hear that stuff. I'm like, what? You're spreading hatred. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, so again, I'm digressing, but as I said before, I'm the only one that talks about bioaccumulation. Okay, the law scared the bejesus out of you with all kinds of wrong facts. I'm the only one that talks about bioaccumulation. And I'm the only one that says, yes, the news will always tell you that in the future, the radiation found off the West Coast in the Pacific Ocean will be low because the water dilutes it. The radiation is sitting up in a, in a rod, and as it fusions off, fissions off, it, it gets dumped into the ocean or the atmosphere, falls in the ocean, and there it is there, folks. It's in diluted portions, not magnified, not concentrated, but... The sad part is the concentration takes place thereafter in the fish. That's why I've been telling you that we need to check the bivalves, the, the seafood, specific types of fish that have a, a tendency to wander around and migrate a lot. And that's what that video was. In Fukushima Day 1205, I showed how the Food and Drug Administration had lied about the safety of the seafood 
in Alaska. They only tested three types of fish. All three are bottom dwellers. Don't migrate. Don't go anywhere. And go watch the video. You'll get informed about it. They, they did a lot more mistakes than just lying to you about the quality or the safety of the testing. Even the testing itself is flawed. I'm not going to rehash that, but basically that's where I realize, hold on a second, it's all bloody corrupt. YouTube is corrupt. It's controlled by your Google New World Order. That's why many of you, as I've been saying here, isn't it funny how they all relate back to RT News? You people are catching on. Great for you. Excellent. Excellent. I'm so glad you're catching on because this is your New World Order corruption and I'm the only one on YouTube who'll be talking about this bullshit, busting them in the chops with some truth. So the funds for the gamma spectrometer, it's Many of you realize this is really important, and um, I thank you very much for the donations. However, it slowed down a little bit here. It was going great this summer. Um, i got to come up with another way of doing it, folks, because the government's not doing it. As I said, they're going to keep testing the water, and every year it's going to be the same thing. The levels are low. What can I say? You know, Who else is doing Fukushima petitions? Nobody. I'm the only one on YouTube. As I said... I stand out from the rest because I'm not part of the disinformation scam gang. Many of you have caught on to that. I'm a real person that cares about people. So what I'm doing here, as in 2011, when I went across Canada doing a radiation tour, you may recall how I actually said in my very first video, hey, guess what? No one's doing this. The five, gamma spectron the five Geiger counters on the top of the buildings in Vancouver, our first line of defense here on the West Coast, would, were actually turned off as the explosion took place in, uh, in Japan. So I went across Canada in 2011 doing these fallout testing of Fukushima with my two Geiger counters and I said from the very first video I'm doing this whether you help me or not it needs to be done and I'm doing the same thing with the gamma spectrometer I'm raising my funds either you guys help me or not this is getting done and I've realized here as I've been mentioning I'm getting into trading and educating myself and I'm going to quickly share with you how I'm going to get this job done so you know these are my picks and uh, as you can see here uh, January 30th to the 31st, very short time span. And as I've been saying, I'm a high school dropout, so I'm educating myself on this. But this is a simulator account. There's no real money. But I put $5,000 in, and just to let you know, I'd be up $164 already in that short time period. Now, here's another one here. I called it my top picks because I'm getting better at this. As I said, I'm educating myself. So I had to split it into other picks. And my newest ones are my top picks. This is where I'm going to try and concentrate my picks from now on because... Well, as you can see by the date here, uh, that was yesterday. All of these were picked yesterday. I did it last night, okay? Um, can you see in the, how much I am in the green here? On $5,000, I'm up $204. So if you don't think I can raise the funds for this gamma spectrometer, hang tight. It's coming. I'm going to do it. With or without your help, I don't give a shit, people. I'm, I'm dedicated to the truth, and I'm not going to give up. I've realized that there's people here that all connect back up to energy news. Fair winds, energy winds. Arnie Gunderson, your new world order, what can I say? Many of you have caught on. I'm going to continue busting the shills. Now, one of the things, oops, before I get into that, um, that's my next topic. So if you haven't seen this video, go watch it. I'm going to continue on with the information from there. And what can I say? Uh, this is a hot topic, and it goes back into the hatred and how I'm uh, a bad person for pointing out um, the corruption. I can't believe it. So one of the corruptions I talked about was how our new mayor in Saanich had been given a hard time with the police. And if you go watch that video, you'll catch on. And um, basically, this is a fresh story here. It's from Focus Online. I picked it up on uh, the mayor's Twitter account, uh, Mayor Atwell. So basically, uh, this gentleman here uh, goes in and tears a hole in two stories. Well, the two stories are actually about two different mayors, and I'm not going to get into it because it's going to bore the bejesus out of you because you're not from my municipality, and I'm not actually not from Saanich, but I consider politics as an important game right now because of the Freemasons and how they've infiltrated our politics around the world, and the only way we're going to clean up the, sh the shit show is by us lending a hand, getting involved, so it's not about hatred, it's about calling out the bullshit. So the real story was that in June 2009 here, which was never reported by any of the local newspaper, the, 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 the mayor back in time, Frank Leonard, was actually having a secret affair behind his wife's uh, back. And in fact, not only did they have an affair, but uh, they had conceived a child, him and the former Saanich counselor. So yeah, there was sex on the job. He's screwing around behind his wife's back, but the newspaper wouldn't report on that. And But if you go watch, 
much that story here. I, admit, I was very upfront how the newspaper, and I'm going over this story here so you can hit the space bar and read it if you want. The, the, the newspaper had no problem mentioning what had taken place with Mayor Atwell and his incident when he called the police. So that information was released, and if you go read the entire story, you find out that the Times columnist, which is referred to as TC here, had actually made a bunch of mistakes. Didn't release a whole bunch of real information about that 911 call, which doesn't surprise me because any of you, any who's been, anyone who's been paying attention to my videos, watching them, I, I mentioned here how I was actually on the front page of the Times columnist, our local newspaper, and the whole story was a lie. It was a lie. They only got a few unreal, you know, a few facts that were true, but they're not the important ones. They took the whole story and trashed it. And I'm so glad that this guy is actually doing some real journalism, real stuff, folks. What really needs to be shown to the people it's not being put out on your local newspapers. Your local newspapers are more than likely controlled by your Freemason society. And this is one of the things I've been talking about to my uh, recent mayor here in Victoria, telling her that we need to ban all secret societies from entering politics in Canada, or more specifically in Victoria here, because that's all she can deal with. But hopefully this trend will catch on and it'll go right across Canada because I believe we will never have freedom and a real truth society unless we get rid of secret societies in the backdrops of our politics. That's very obvious. I mentioned here I'm actually befriended an old 93-year-old Freemason who knows all, I shouldn't say knows all the dirty secrets, but knew a lot of the dirty secrets, and he was very upfront. He says, you know, a lot of Freemasons are good people, but there's, there's a, a certain bunch, very corrupt, and they will kill you. He wasn't joking. He's speaking with experience. He even told me, if you find a gold mine with a large essay with, that has large results, do not publish the real numbers, you will end up dead. This is from someone in Victoria, a 32nd degree Freemason. He's not full of shit, he's been around for a long time. If you watch my videos, I talked about how he'd even met uh, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong, brought them on a secret mission here in, in uh, Alaska to Mount McKinley where there's a secret underground power structure in the shape of a um, pyramid. Only the top of the pyramid is speaking out, speaking out. so basically he, f he was flown out to Baker Lake uh, with his two uh, astronauts and uh, he set up camp while they went out and uh, dropped transponders to, to locate this, 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 this thing. Or, or so he was told that they were out there to do transponders. He doesn't know what the exact missions were. So basically, yeah, we have a problem with Freemasons in our society and, or I should say, in politics, because I have no problem. You want to join a boys club, any club, I don't care, really. My problem is, is when you join um, our government. So in uh, Canada here, our Prime Minister Harper is uh, trying to pass new laws, new anti-terror bill. Can you believe that? Yeah, but uh, here's the real thing. It's going to put a chill on free speech. So am I concerned? I, I, you know, at this point here, I figure if I don't come out and speak out, they're just going to fuck us all over. And then by the time I do speak out, it'll be too late. The laws will already be in place to shut us all up and put us in jail. So basically, I'm, I've taken, you know, my decision, my stance in 2008. I said, you know what, when I figured out that the stock market crash was going to take place in six months and it was all prearranged by the Freemasons or the Illuminati is where I decided, okay, I'm taking a stance. So, um, you know... Even here from the University of Toronto law professor Kent Roach, he says, it seems to me that Canada's legal house is pretty much in order. The problem in Canada is not that the laws aren't on the books, but rather the enforcement of those laws. And that's what took place this summer. You may recall how beautiful girl by Dana was telling everyone how he's going to track our IPs, hunt us all down, and hang us from a tree. We, we complained to the police. Nothing took place. Uh, that's the way it works on YouTube. You can complain all you want. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, I'm just going to finish up here with a short clip of some of the sea life that was taken here on January the 5th. I'll leave a link down below for the video. It's at Henderson Point, Saanich, BC, same place where this mirror I was just talking about. As I was saying before, in the cracks, full of life, you can see that big fish there right in the crack. Here's another species. And here's another one. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of camouflaged. Look how thick it is with minnows. Yeah.
We had the largest salmon run here this last year in 2014. There's a prawn swimming around. Yeah, lots of fish. And there's a starfish. And there's another one. Okay, so I'll leave a link down below if you want to go watch this entire video. It's uh, four minutes of uh, marine life here on the West Coast because you're not going to get it from a guy dipping his camera in the water. So Palco Painting Auction, hang tight, folks. It's coming next.